Chances are you know where we're talking about. The city of San Antonio wants to celebrate what makes this busy corridor stand out. This is Wurzbach Road, just east of I-10, leading up to the medical center. Yeah, businesses from I-10 to Fredericksburg represent countries from the Middle East, North Africa, Asia. The night team's Patty Santos looks at what could become the Silk Road Cultural Heritage District. It's a one mile stretch exploding with culture. Definitely diverse and um, diverse. Um, it's busy <laughs> down Wurzbach. As, as we mentioned, there are so many um, restaurants and stores uh, from other countries or that represent foods from other countries. So very diverse. This stretch of Wurzbach Road between I-10 and Fredericksburg is where Vietnamese, Indian and Lebanese businesses thrive. It's 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 a melting pot. Many of the kids who live in this neighborhood attend Colony's North Elementary School. The campus is a miniature representation of what's happening in the community. We have um, between 20 and 30 languages spoken. Um, most of our emergent bilingual kids are from Afghanistan, so they speak Pashto. Um, after that, I would say we have an, a group that's growing more and more from the Congo, um, so they speak Swahili. That's why Principal Norma Farrell agrees with the idea to create a cultural heritage district known as Silk Road. What started as a proposal by Councilman Manny Pelias in 2022 is being considered by the Office of Historic Preservation. The first of several community meetings happens Thursday. And hopefully they'll say, oh yes, this is my new home, this is where I belong, and San Antonio uh, is validating that. Margaret Constantino with the Center for Refugee Services says the neighborhood has become more diverse in the last decade. She says the designation can create pride for young migrants. To validate that their cultures are indeed important to us. So what do you think about this Silk Road proposal? The city wants to hear from you tomorrow at its first community meeting. That is at 5 o'clock at the Bob Ross Senior Center on Babcock Road. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News.